he kind of spearheaded this he, he, the 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 questions and the quest of okay I need I have so I'm not satisfied with some answers I'm getting he I was his sounding board for his spiritual deconstruction and I, so I think that I was you know just kind of along for the ride honestly because it it I'm not my brain doesn't work in the same way I was much more comfortable because I thought it was working for me. I thought that how I conducted my faith was more helpful than harmful. Actually, now I've started to realize over the uh, over the past decade that there were a lot of things that were healthy for me to shed in terms of um, judgment and shame and how I processed that. Um, but as a sounding board, I, I was I was pretty much just kind of like a step or two behind him in terms of my evolving beliefs. Because as we said, you know, you're the the first the the questioning personally, the decision to make a change in a direction of thought and how you operate your life is a real personal thing. That yeah. could have been a huge wedge and maybe the oh, yeah. end of this partnership. Well, and it's, you know, it started with the first person I kind of confided in was my wife. And, and we've, I've seen this so many times. It's very unusual for uh, a married couple that are both in a particular faith and one person says adios. For, uh, most of the time those in, in, in divorce. Right. The first time I told her, I mean, listen, we didn't believe that evolution happened. We, we believed that Adam and Eve were real. We, you know, we, we believed that what is in the book of Genesis was like history. And so when was I, there a moment where this came, where you, you had a flash and you went, wait, 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 wait. Uh, it was like a, I started reading about this in my early twenties and I, but mostly what I would do is I would go and I would be like, I, okay, there's, there's all these people selling, saying that the earth is, you know, 10,000 years old, but like every time I go to a museum, they're like, this thing lived millions of years ago. I never, I never looked into this, but I started reading about it. And actually I started reading from like, I, I would go to Christian sources, right? And there's a lot of Christians who don't believe that, there's a lot of Christians who believe in evolution, right? There's a lot of Christians who believe that world is old or whatever and kind of accept the established science. And so I would slowly read these sources and kind of my view was uh, changing. But then when it was like, uh, I, but that's, I don't know how to reconcile this particular thing about, well, if we're, if we're have this common ancestor with chimpanzees and, you know, apes and uh, Adam and Eve, well, how do you explain that? I would start asking these questions and then I would like go to my pastor, go to these other people. I would ask them questions and I didn't get satisfactory answers. And then it just was like a house of cards that was slowly falling until I remember writing in my journal, I was journaling at the time. Uh, I was like, I'm pretty sure I don't believe any of this stuff anymore, right? But all along the way, I would tell, like when I told my wife that I thought evolution had happened, she burst into tears. I just wanna give you an idea of what where we come from wow. and the worldview that we were all sort of held captive to. And so, but the funny, the funny thing is, is that, I, but I, I never reacted that way. No. I'm so like, I okay. actually start, I, I, I would meter out the conversation with Jesse at the time. Be like, she can only handle so much, but Link and I would hang out and I would be like, bro, let me tell you the, the last, the, let me tell you the last thing that I read that really makes me think that none of this stuff is true. Um, and you would listen. And again, you weren't the kind of guy that was going to go off and do the research on your own, but you were the kind of guy that was going to listen to someone who, who you trusted who had. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I read a couple of books too, but like, <laughs> you know, it wasn't, it wasn't quite as. You weren't it, searching. You weren't. He was seeking yeah. and sharing. Yeah, and you were listening, and yeah. being a much more passive. Yeah. So if he and I never... valued the security of what I had, and I just felt like there was a lot at stake in trying to. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be here for you, and I'm gonna. I'm going to lovingly listen and respond and be a sounding board. But what I'm really going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to try to like say, yeah, but let's just kind of tamp all this down, you know, get it out of your system. I think is what I thought at first. And so what was the switch? Because, where you went, yeah. I mean, it was just the preponderance of it. It just kept, it just kept coming. I mean, <laughs> anywhere you, anywhere you look, I mean, it's like, 
it just kept coming. And I did start reading other people's accounts of deconstruction and their reasoning and and was your wife also a lot of that resonated did they have this did she have the same uh she was but she was yes because it was we believed that it would it would split us up yeah that like the biblical teaching that we adhered to was okay you're not going to stay together you can't do this without jesus you're not you know jesus is holding you together anyway so 